Welcome to my kitchen. It's nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. And on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make stuffed peppers. If you're new, be sure to get subscribed. If you're a returning subscriber, you know what you're in store for. Let's get started. So let's go over what you're going to need. There's many ways you can make stuffed peppers, but this is the way I make it. Uh, you need some instant rice to start with. Get you some red pepper seasoning, tomato sauce, a little bit of parsley flakes, some seasoned salt, onion powder, minced garlic, garlic powder, Old Bay seasoning is a must, a little bit of black pepper seasoning, Worshipper sauce, hamburger meat, some eggs, some salt, and you can't forget the peppers. Onion too, don't forget that, I'm going to need onion. And you can't forget your cheese. So the next step will be go ahead and prep your hamburger meat to go inside your peppers. And this is what I got, just ground beef. I call it hamburger meat, it's ground beef. This was uh, 5 for $24.99, very good deal on it. So I'm just going to dump the whole thing in it. If you're fixing, you know, we're fixing four stuffed peppers, big enough for a family, one pepper a piece. Or if you like two peppers and you, you know, got a better half, you each get two peppers. Or if you're single, you can have a week's worth of peppers almost with four of them, eat one a day. But one thing of hamburger meat, whatever you call it, is half chunk. So I'm going to add me a little bit of Worshipper sauce. This is optional. You don't have to, but I like it. It gives everything that spiciness. You can add two eggs now or later. I'm going to fry it with eggs in it. You don't have to use the eggs because you probably ain't going to notice them in it <laughs> once we get everything added, but I was taught to make these with eggs, and that's what I'm doing. So with the egg and everything added, you can take your hand and just mix it all up. Well, gloves, if you type it, these gloves, but I'm old-fashioned, and I really don't cook for other people. So I just do this. Get something to wipe your hands off with, too, because it's messy. So we got the worship of sauce and the eggs added and the hamburger meat mixed up. I'm going to go ahead, add some garlic powder, Depends on you how much you want to add. Add about, what do you say, a tablespoon? I think that was about a tablespoon. Now we're going to take some seasoned salt and add to this. Just like so. Now I'm going to take and mix it all together and then add the rest of our seasoning. Next, some black pepper. I think that's plenty some crushed red peppers. This gives it a spiciness. Everybody loves that. I do. A little bit of onion powder. Just a hint of pasta. We got some Old Bay seasoning here. This is great for seafood. Steaks, it's it's got a lot of uses, just not seafood. So I'm trying to open it here. I just poke some holes on top of it, then you can use it as a sprinkler. There we go. A little bit of minced garlic. It's like so. Man, it smells so delicious. I love the smell of garlic. Can't forget to add the salt. But we did add paper. Now it's time to add the instant rice. You want instant because if you fix the rice any other way besides instant, you're going to be done a long time because you have to pre-cook it. And we're trying to get these stuffed peppers done fast, so instant rice it is. I just use a whole box. And the final messy ingredient we're going to add is some tomato sauce. And I'm going to stick my hands in this. This is going to suck. I almost forgot before I stick my hands in it. Diced onions. How many of y'all just wait for me to stick my hands in this mess? Just comment below. I like to know. Are you just sitting there like, is he going to stick his hands in it? Yeah, I am. Because you can wash your hands. And you want everything mixed up good. 
Have you ever cooked, like, on a smoked grill or something, you mix hamburger meat and stuff? You want to use your hands, but if you're cooking for people, you want to use gloves. If you're cooking for yourself, or I mean, it's your germs. So we mix this up good, and it'll be mixed even more once it's inside the fryer. Because we're going to fry all this and not bake it. So what you want to do is find the top of your pepper and cut it. I done got the other ones ready to go, so we're going to go ahead and fix this one. You don't want to cut all the way through it because if you do, you won't be able to do this. Now on the inside here, you want to take your knife and clean all this up. And when you get done cleaning it, it'll look like this one. This don't have any bad spots, but if you have any bad spots in your pepper, you can cut them out. So what I'm going to do next is go around the edges of this pepper here and cut these little bits of pepper I can up and toss it into the hamburger meat. So now comes the fun part. We got some extra Virginia oil, virgin oil, of oil, however you pronounce that. I just call it oil. I know it's very good. You can use Pam if you wanted to, but we are just going to put some in here so nothing sticks. And then we're going to push it around just like so. Make sure the whole bottom of the skillet is covered. So now we're going to turn the stove on about a medium setting. On my stove, it's a four. Your stove probably is different. My stove is from 1960s. And I'm going to go ahead and put my stove to bake and let it preheat. You can put it on the preheat setting, but uh, bake is just fine. Just for added flavor, I'm going to throw some butter in it. And this is the peppers, the tops. I went ahead and cut them up. We're just going to add them to the bottom of the mix. As we stir it up, they work their way into the, the hamburger meat. It's time to add the meat. The meat is the top of the flavor. That was satisfying. That's an onion. You didn't know I missed the onion. So everything is heating up. I'm going to go ahead and kind of try to get some of this mixed before it's... Uh, pan gets too hot boy oh boy don't that look delicious so it's been about five minutes it's starting to finally change color the hamburger meat is you can see it's still a little pink but it's finally changing to that good brown hamburger look that's what you want you want your hamburger fully cooked you don't want to eat no uncooked hamburger meat might not be healthy for you so everything's getting dark brown now. Just a few more minutes and it should be done. Close to it. Probably five, ten more minutes. But uh, you could fry your hamburger meat separate if you wanted to. I just like doing it all together. Now, this is starting to get dry. And the closer it gets done, the drier it's going to get. If it gets too dry on you, you can add some water to help moisten everything up. Because the drier it gets, the more chances it gets that it's going to stick. You don't want to burn your nice stuffed peppers stuffing, do you? But I got my stove cooking on very low settings, so I'm taking my time. You could probably have this done done if you cook on medium to high, but as you can see, it's just on low settings, and that hamburger meat's getting pretty done. So it's been about 30 minutes. You need to go ahead and turn your stove off. Now you need to take a spoon and just get out all your hamburger meat if you got any left over you can use it on the taco now you can cram these in there pretty tight you know just keep mashing down with your spoon but i'm trying to present these to you guys for a thumbnail so i'm trying to get them looking nice as i can and they not cooperating but yeah we're getting there now the oven we have been uh, preheating look over this the oven we have been uh, preheating since we started making these for about 30 minutes well we did that for a reason we're going to melt some cheese on top of these so i'm going to put this on top on the top rack i wish these were set up straighter i have no uh solution to making your peppers set up straight unless you have a full thing of peppers i just got four so we're going to let them stay in the oven and bake till the cheese is nice and melted 
So my peppers didn't stay in place, but boy, do I look delicious. Look at that. It's so yummy. Oh, they smell so delicious, guys. I'm going to get us two with the, the cheese on it here. So they smell delicious. I'm a stuffed pepper kind of guy. Don't know about you watching. Do you like stuffed peppers? Let me know in the comment section below. Here they are. Don't that look delicious? They look delicious to me. So we're going to try them out, see exactly how good they are. I think I need a little bit more black pepper, but we shall see. Big lot of cheese. I like cheese. I love cheese, especially on anything like Philly cheesesteak, stuffed peppers. Let's get a bite. Oh, wait, very good. They could use a tad bit of black pepper. Pepper that thing down. The onions are so good. Now, you could add some more stuff on top of it. A little bit more with shipper sauce would probably be extremely good with a little bit more pepper. It's all on you. You can fix these any way you like. Add as much as you like. And my kitty cat wants some if you can heal him. He won't eat it if he's seen it. Yeah, the pepper helped. I was way too light on my pepper. Hey, okay. Now, in many ways, you can make stuffed peppers. This is just one way of many. I know a few stuffed pepper recipes. That's just one. There's one that you just bake in the oven. It's very delicious. It's way more simpler than this one. If you guys enjoy this one, I might show you that one in another video. I also know another one that's very simple. It's very good. It's a little has a little bit more harder kick to it. Also, you know, the three different recipes I know for stuffed peppers. They mini out there. This is just one. So if you're new, get subscribed. Let me know in the comment section below exactly what you thought about this video. And if you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you watching another one of my videos, taking the time out of your day. It means extremely a lot to me. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.